You're using Google Opal wrong. Here's the problem. You know what Opal is, but you don't know how to actually use it like an expert. Today that changes. I'm showing you the exact workflows that save me 10 hours every single week, the prompts that actually work, the integrations that matter, beginner to expert in 10 minutes. And if you stick to the end, I'll give you my entire workflow library. Let's go. Look, I know you've seen Opal tutorials, but here's the thing. Most people use it once and never touch it again. They build one little toy app and think they're done. That's not how you become an expert. That's not how you actually automate your business and save hours every single day. So in this video, I'm showing you the exact workflows I use, the prompts that actually work, the integrations that matter. And by the end, you'll know more about Opal than 99% of people who claim they use AI tools. Let me start with the beginner stuff real quick. If you're brand new to Opal, here's what you need to know. It's Google's no code platform. You describe what you want in plain English. It builds it for you. Then you get this visual workflow with nodes and connections. You can edit it, refine it, and publish it as a real tool that anyone can use. Go to opal.google, sign in with your Google account. That's it, you're in. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. Now here's where beginners mess up. They try to build something complicated right away. Don't do that, start simple. Go to the gallery, find a template, remix it, run it. See how it works, that's your first lesson. Learn by doing, not by watching. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say you wanna build a tool for the AI profit boardroom. You need something that actually helps grow the business, not some random nonsense, something practical. Here's a beginner prompt. Build a lead qualifier tool. It asks for budget, timeline, and needs. It scores the lead from one to 100. It categorizes them as hot, warm, or cold. Then it logs everything to a Google Sheet. That's it. That's a real business tool. Paste that into Opal. Let it build the workflow. Now you've got something you can actually use. And here's the cool part. Once it builds the workflow, you can see exactly how it works. There's an input node for the form fields. There's a logic node that does the scoring. There's a Gemini node that analyzes the responses. There's a Sheets integration that logs the data. Everything is visual. Everything makes sense. Now, let me take you to the intermediate level. This is where most people get stuck. They can build basic tools, but they don't know how to make them powerful. They don't know how to chain things together. They don't know how to add real intelligence. Here's the secret. It's all about the nodes, inputs, AI processing, logic, integrations, outputs. You need to understand what each node does. And more importantly, you need to understand how to connect them. Let's build something more advanced, a content repurposer for the AI profit boardroom. You paste in a blog post URL, Opal summarizes it. Then it generates 10 LinkedIn posts, five tweets, and two newsletter drafts, all optimized for engagement all ready to copy and paste. Here's the prompt. Build a content repurpose engine, input a blog URL, summarize the main points with Gemini, generate 10 LinkedIn posts with emojis and hashtags, generate five tweets under 280 characters, generate two newsletter versions, one short and one detailed, output everything in a clean format with copy buttons, paste that in, let Opal build it, now watch what happens. It creates a web scrape node to pull the blog content. It sends that to Gemini for summarization. Then it sends the summary to Gemini again with different prompts for each content type. Finally, it outputs everything in organized sections, but here's where you become intermediate. You don't just accept what Opal gives you. You edit it, you refine the Gemini prompts to match your brand voice. You add conditional logic. For example, if the blog post is under 500 words, use a different summarization approach. If it's over 2000 words, break it into multiple parts. You can also add integrations here. Export the results to Google Sheets, save them to Google Drive, email them to yourself, schedule them with a timestamp. The possibilities are endless once you understand the node system. And speaking of possibilities, let me tell you about something that can take your AI automation to the next level. If you want to learn how to save time and automate your business with AI tools like Google Opal, you need to check out the AI Profit Boardroom. We teach you exactly how to build these workflows, integrate them into your business, and scale your operations without hiring more people. It's not about theory. It's about real tools that save you real hours. Link in the description. All right, now let's get into expert level. This is where the magic happens. This is where you're not just using Opal, you're building actual products with it. You're automating entire business processes that used to take your team hours. Expert level is about three things, advanced integrations, complex logic, and prompt engineering. Let me break down each one. First, advanced integrations. You're not just using Sheets and Drive anymore. 
you're connecting Opal to Gmail for automated emails. You're using web search nodes to pull live data. You're combining multiple Google services in one workflow. Here's an example. Build a competitor analysis tool for the AI profit boardroom. Input a competitor's website URL. Opal searches the web for their content, their social media, their reviews. It uses Gemini to analyze their strengths and weaknesses. It generates a SWOT analysis. It creates an action plan with specific strategies to beat them. Then it formats everything as a PDF report and saves it to drive. That's not a toy. That's a real business intelligence tool. And you can build it in Opal without writing a single line of code. Second, complex logic. This is where you use conditional nodes, loops, and calculations. You're not just passing data from one node to the next. You're making decisions based on that data. Let me give you a real example. Build a proposal generator for the AI profit boardroom. Input the client type and their needs. Opal does web research on their industry. It calculates ROI based on time saved and typical hourly rates. But here's the complex part. Use conditional logic to adjust the proposal based on client size. If they're a solopreneur, emphasize ease of use and quick wins. If they're an agency, emphasize scalability and team features. If they're enterprise, emphasize custom integrations and dedicated support. That's expert level logic. You're not just filling in a template. You're dynamically creating content based on multiple variables. Third, prompt engineering. This is the real secret. Your Gemini prompts need to be specific, detailed, and structured. Vague prompts give you vague results. Expert prompts give you expert results. Here's a bad prompt. Generate a sales email. Here's a good prompt. You are a sales expert for an AI automation agency. Write a personalized follow-up email for a prospect who just had a discovery call. They run a marketing agency with 10 employees. Their main pain point is spending too much time on repetitive tasks. The email should acknowledge their specific challenges, present our AI automation solution as the answer, include a soft call to action to book a strategy session and be under 150 words in a friendly but professional tone. See the difference? The second prompt, gives Gemini everything it needs to create something actually useful. That's what separates beginners from experts. Beginners write prompts like they're talking to a simple chatbot. Experts write prompts like they're briefing a skilled employee. Now, let me show you some real workflows you can build right now. These are the exact prompts I use for the AI profit boardroom. SEO keyword researcher, create an SEO tool, input a topic, trigger web search for current trends and common questions, use Gemini to generate 20 keywords with estimated search volume and click through rates, create a blog outline in markdown format, export everything to Google Docs with a shareable link, client onboarding system, build an onboarding tool, input client name and project details, generate a welcome email, a project timeline, a list of deliverables and a payment schedule. Send the welcome email via Gmail, save the timeline and deliverables to drive, create a calendar event for the kickoff call, invoice automator, build an invoice tool, input client name, project description, hours worked and hourly rate, calculate totals and taxes, generate a PDF invoice using a template, email it via Gmail, log the invoice details to a Sheets dashboard for tracking payments. These aren't theoretical. These are tools you can build in the next hour. Copy these prompts, paste them into Opal, let it build the workflows, then customize them for your business. And here's the expert move. Once you build these tools, publish them as shareable links, give them to your team, give them to your clients, charge for access, turn your Opal workflows into actual products, go to the publish button, set permissions, generate a link. Now anyone with that link can use your tool. They don't need an Opal account. They don't need to understand how it works. They just input their data and get results. This is how you scale. You build the tool once, you use it forever. You share it with everyone who needs it. No more repeating the same tasks manually. No more training new team members on complex processes, just automation that works. Let me give you some final expert tips. First, always test your workflows with edge cases. What happens if someone inputs a URL that doesn't work? What happens if they leave a field blank? Add error, handling add default values, make your tools bulletproof. Second, version control matters. Save different versions of your workflows, label them clearly. If you break something while experimenting, you can always go back to the working version. Third, combine Opal with other tools. Use it to generate content, then edit with Claude or ChatGPT. Use it to create video scripts, then produce with VO3. Use it to build workflows, then enhance with custom code if needed. Opal doesn't have to do everything. It just has to do what it's best at. And if you want the full process, SOPs, and 100 plus AI use cases like this one, join the AI Success Lab. Links in the comments and description. You'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of 40,000 members.
are crushing it with AI, it's completely free. Look, most people will watch this video and do nothing. They'll think it's cool. They'll say they'll try it later. They'll forget about it in two days. Don't be most people. Go to opal.google right now. Build your first real workflow. Comment below and tell me what you build. I read every single comment. You now know more about Opal than most people who claim to be AI experts. You know the beginner basics. You know the intermediate integrations. You know the expert strategies. The only thing left is to actually do it. 10 minutes, beginner to expert, that's what I promised, that's what you got. Now go build something that actually matters, automate your business, save your time, scale your operations, and I'll see you in the next video where we're covering even more AI tools that actually work.